Hey there guys, welcome back to Freedom Frog Gear. This is Frog Frog, and today I wanted to continue with uh, some spider coves. And I wanted to find some spider coves that have some different deployment options, and this has just that. This is the Spider Co Akuchi, and this is one of their uh, more interesting deploying knives. You see it has that little wheel there with the, uh, the jimping, and it catches right on your finger and blasts that blade right out. I love the action on this knife, but before we get too much into that, I want to shout this video out to CB Tactical, guys. Great time to subscribe to his channel. He's pushing 700 subscribers last I checked. He's doing a giveaway. Now is a fantastic time to subscribe to CB Tactical. Watch some content, leave some comments, show some love. Awesome, awesome channel. All right, so back to the Akuchi. This is, this is a great little knife, guys, and it is a pretty little knife. Um, I mean, we have an overall length of 7.61 inches, a uh, blade length of 3.26 inches, with a cutting edge of 3.18 inches, which really, to me, is just enough. I mean, I think that's enough edge for most of your EDC tasks in such a compact little knife. And as you can see, the blade is recessed in between these two scales completely, which, uh, you know, eliminates space that it would take up in your pocket, which is really, really uh, pretty fantastic, guys. It sits in there perfectly. As you can see, there's no sharpness coming out. Uh, really, really nice. I like the scales on this knife. It is uh, carbon fiber laminate G10. I love that when Spyderco does it. And it has this little uh, wire pocket clip, which I think is actually a good choice for this knife. It reduces the weight. The uh, weight of this knife is just over two ounces, guys. So you won't even feel this in your pocket, really. I mean, this is a great compact little knife that to me has just enough edge. And uh, as I said before in my last video, I find that the Taiwan made Spider Co's have a better detent. Uh, they really just fire that that blade right out of there and I'm uh, I'm happy with that and I don't know if that's just been my experience but I have uh, found that the Taiwan made spider coves do have a bit of a stronger detent and uh, here we have a really cool trailing point blade my buddy Steve Garrow said that uh, kind of reminded him of a steak knife and I can't disagree but I still I still like it guys uh, very very comfortable in hand for such a small knife you get a great grip on that. As you can see, there is no jimping on the back of this blade, but I feel like I have a nice, strong, and secure purchase on this knife. Uh, we have a satin finish S30V blade. Looks really, really nice in my opinion. And we have a flat grind. Let's do a quick cutting test with one of my peanuts. The ultimate test of a blade. Look at that. That, I mean, that's a perfect slice, guys. They do a really good job in the Taiwan factory. Spider Co. in general does, but I do find that their Taiwan knives are extremely well made. And I am very, very happy with this knife. Here comes the cat. Almost poked her eye out. Let's take her down. She wanted to say hello. Everybody say hi to Ash. All right, so yeah, this knife is awesome, guys. I really like it. Uh, it is a fidget beast. Great with the compression lock. Fires right out with that wheel. Just really, really fun. Very portable, uh, very discreet. Just a great knife. Uh, if you want something that's, you know, a little bit classy, a little bit different, this is a good way to go, guys. Uh, Spyderco knocked this one out of the park, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about this knife. Let me know what you're carrying, and definitely check out CB Tactical, and uh, say hello for the frog. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Frog out.